I just really want to thank you all for, for being here today and uh, on this really, really special day for, for me. Uh, and so again, uh, it's nice to be back with the, uh, the media of Sioux Falls and South Dakota. I, I miss you folks, whether you believe it or not, I, I really did. In my final press conference as, uh, as your mayor, uh, one of the things I was asked is, so, so Mayor Mike, you know, what, what are you going to do next? I talked about my magic list uh, a, a little bit, the 42 things that I want to do before I pass away. And one of the items that I discussed with all of you and, and the people of Sioux Falls in South Dakota was that I wanted to write a book or two. As with anything that I say, uh, some really took it to heart and then, yeah, there were others who really questioned it. By now, uh, the good folks of uh, Sioux Falls and South Dakota and this entire area, they should know that when I say something, it is real. I will bust my tail to make it happen. That includes writing a book or two. I started writing this book uh, seriously in, in July uh, after I was done serving as, uh, as your mayor. By January 2nd, my first draft was ready to be reviewed uh, by some select family, some select friends, and yes, as always, some key advisors. In the book it says, writing a book <clears throat> has been one of the hardest things I've ever tackled. But as with all these hard things that I tackle, that we tackle, I think you're going to find they're also unbelievably rewarding. And now, <clears throat> darn right exciting. I'm so pumped. You haven't heard that word for a while, have you? Joe, quit smiling. I am so pumped for everyone to read my book titled Serve, Lead, Win. And I mean everyone. There is something within the book that will motivate, inspire, help coach, and provide confidence in life, no matter your role. Moms, dads, Coaches, mentors, bosses, business owners, public servants, small and large businesses, nonprofits, churches, teams, schools, and yes, you bet, government. There is such a hunger for entities and people to make even more with these special days that we are given. Let's become more productive, more collaborative, more responsive, and you bet, more accountable. And that insatiable appetite isn't more ravenous than in government. All government, local, county, state, and oh my, you bet, our federal government From 2010 to 2018, I was so honored and so blessed to serve the people of Sioux Falls as their mayor. And during that time, we, Sioux Falls City Government, we proved to the citizens of our great town and our great state called South Dakota, and yes, as all of you know, all across America, we prove that with proper leadership and a zest to leave things better than we found them, good things can happen. Oh, good things can actually happen in government. That's just one of the things you're going to find enlightening in Serve, Lead, Win. The book incorporates uh, interesting and what I believe will be really, really important tidbits about my life's journey, uh, my business journey, and you bet, my public service experiences. Most importantly, the memories made. 
the lessons learned and the goals that we accomplish along the journey. Once again, <laughs> I can't wait for folks to read it. With that in mind, we're kind of treating this like an ACDC concert. We're making you hungry for more and more and more throughout the rollout. We're on Amazon right now, and guess what? Our book, our book, Serve, Lead, Win, has only been on Amazon for what, a day or two? Joe, you, you found it, good job. And uh, I was told by uh, Jeremy at Throne Publishing, and I'll tell you more about him today, but uh, I was told this morning that Serve, Lead, Win, this book, talking about Sioux Falls, South Dakota, our city government, the things that we were accomplished, we were able to accomplish, our book, our accomplishment, people want to read about it, and guess what? We are the number one selling new release on Amazon right now. Number one new book on political leadership. And I was hoping Jeremy could be right here because guess what? He just let me know. Now, Sioux Falls, our book, is also the number one new release on Amazon when it comes to leadership. Thank you. Thank you, Sioux Falls. Thanks for cheering us on. So, it's on Amazon right now uh, in terms of the, the Kindle edition. So, so how else could you grab this book? All right, here's a little scoop for you. If you want the first hard copies available, they're at Zanbro's Variety right now. Well, at 2 o'clock, they'll, uh, they'll be ready for sale. They're at Zanbro's Variety. And uh, they're so hungry to, to provide them to, to all of you. So that'll be next. Uh, also, for those folks who um, uh, won't be able to afford the book, uh, it's also available at the Siouxland Libraries as, as well. And then, yeah, for those of you who want soft covers, those will also be available on Amazon.com as well. I'm uh, going to go out on the, um, um, on the road just a bit, um, and I will be doing some book signing ceremonies. I'm going to go to my hometown of Yankton on Saturday. Uh, I'll be doing a book signing ceremony there. Uh, Sioux Falls, hope you don't mind, but it's my hometown. Uh, so I'm going to go there and do a, a book signing, but then I'll be back on Saturday afternoon uh, to do a book signing ceremony at Zanbro's as well uh, from 2.30 uh, to 4.00. Not only did we release uh, the book Serve, Lead, Win, but also to kind of make it easier for you folks to kind of keep track on what old Mayor Mike is doing. Um, we're also, thanks to the work of Epicosity, uh, Justin, Eric, Chris, and the Epicosity team, we've also rolled out a new website as well. Uh, and you can see glimpses of that behind me. And it is beautiful. Um, I just am so thrilled by it. I am the least technologically savvy public servant and maybe person in all of America. Uh, but when you work with folks like Epicosity, you can really make some great things happen, and they did that. Um, you will find it at www.mikehuther.com, uh, or you can also find it at www.serveleadwin.com. Um, it's a productive and efficient way to kind of keep up with the things that I'm so proud and excited, uh, excited about, including sure, my book, um, the partnership that I have with uh, Kelloland in terms of uh, our On the Road show, uh, as also, and I, I know more smiles are coming, um, of course, speaking engagements that you know I can't get enough of. Um, I love engaging people and um, 
That includes all the media <clears throat> that played such an important role in our eight years of unprecedented success in, in Sioux Falls. And in fact, I write about that uh, right in here. We got things done. Um, and now there's an opportunity for people all across America to figure out just how we did it. And uh, then they can also get things done as well. I, I can't end the press conference uh, with thanking some, some key folks again. Um, I, I do want to start with uh, you know, my, my family that <clears throat> has cheered me on um, from the beginning. Um, my beautiful bride, Cindy. Um, um, my daughter, Kylie. My mom, uh, other family members, I certainly thank them. Um, yes, these key advisors that have helped me uh, along the way. Uh, the folks at Throne Publishing, uh, Jeremy Brown. I've already touched on uh, Eric and Justin and Chris and the Epicosity team. Um, but <clears throat> one of the things that I also write about in here is that uh, one of the hardest things in life is that you're going to truly find out who your real friends are in the most difficult times of your life, the most challenging events of your life. Uh, it's really, really hard. Uh, however, during my book writing journey, um, I had true friends that were standing beside me uh, along the way, and I just can't thank them enough. These folks are true friends. After this press conference, and again, don't minimize my thanks for you being here. Uh, I, I truly, truly thank you. I know there's so much uh, other things that you can do. But after the press conference, I'm off to deliver my book. Um, and before someone asks, um, my first stop is Sioux Falls City Hall. Uh, that's where I'm going first. Uh, I've got signed copies for the team there, and, and I'm really excited for them to, to read it and, and really help uh, our, city, our city of Sioux Falls continue to do great things. But I, yes, I am off to uh, deliver my books that were in the arena with me in life, in business, and in public service. And uh, I'll tell you, I can't wait to have my hand be so dang sore that I can't sign any more books. <clears throat> It'll be a great thrill for me. I will love the pain. If any of you want to set up one-on-one -on -one interviews with me, I, I would really appreciate that. Um, I do have books for, all, for each one of your organizations. What I'd love for you to do, if you wouldn't mind, is read the book or, or at least get a semblance for the book, and then let's set up a time, and then I, I want to meet with you, if you want, one-on-one, -on -one and, and we can uh, talk about that. Uh, as well. Um, um, and then last but not least, uh, I never leave a speaking engagement and I never leave a press conference ever without letting you ask me anything you want. And uh, it's one of the things that I'm, um, I'm proud of. Um, so, yeah, thank you for being here. So ask me anything you want, and, and thanks for being here. Thank you. Anybody? Yeah. True. Will we see a campaign announcement on that website? Well, <laughs> that, uh, Joe, and, and I, I think that's fair. Uh, and that has been, you know, one of the things that I've had to answer uh, even before I was the mayor. And in the book, you're going to find out more stuff about my public service journey and some of the things that we've considered uh, even before I was the mayor. And so, Joe, um, as I've done in the past, I don't make these decisions on my own. Um, you know, I miss having Kylie at the supper table with Cindy and I, uh, but we still do talk about things like this. I have people that are cheering me on all the time, wanting to know what we're going to do next. Um, and personally, I'm still, you know, even during that last press conference, I'm still str struggling trying to figure it all out. Uh, one of the things that I found, it took me about four days to move on after serving all of you as, as your mayor. Um, uh, Darren Smith said it would take about four months. 
It took me four days. Uh, what I found is that there's just so much more to do with these really valuable days that we're given and, and I'm just trying to squeeze as much into it. But um, in the conclusion of the book it says I would be honored to serve in some capacity again and I would. Uh, but if it doesn't happen uh, there's all kinds of other things that I'm going to try to do before, before I pass. Um, and so you know, I, I knew that question would come, uh, but no, right now uh, I'm really excited about, you know, the, the TV show that I'm able to work on. Uh, of course, the book. Uh, Cindy and I spent four days, yes, four days uh, with George and Margaret, and we were completely exhausted when we were done, but it's been one of the, one of the most rewarding things that I've also done, being Bapa. Uh, to George and Margaret. My mom's still doing well. Cindy's mom's still doing well. Uh, I talk about the old My Man Mike truck in the book. Uh, it's ready. It's ready for another campaign. Uh, but right now, uh, I've got a 260 gallon water tank in the back of it that I hand water about 3,000 trees and bushes in Gerald County. Uh, and I love it. And I'm not talking to anybody. Except for my stepfather Earl who's in heaven, that's about it. Uh, and an occasional pet rooster or two that I find out there. So, Joe, that was a long-winded answer and I didn't answer it directly, uh, but I mean it sincerely. I would love to serve again in some capacity, uh, but we're not ready to, to do anything like that right now. Um, trying to get a little long-winded too and, and I should have shut up, I should have learned, but I've been out of office now for over a year. so. Uh, I'm not, you know, heeding the, uh, but <clears throat> I talk about this as well. You know, um, I would be honored to serve in, in a capacity again, but here's the harsh reality about, about serving is that in order to serve, you have to win. And campaigns are incredibly hard. Uh, not only hard on the candidate, but just as hard, if not harder, on the people that love you and support you. So, uh, you know, Joe, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, but right now, I'm, pr I'm really dang busy and, and loving it. Thank you. Any other questions? Anything? And Joe? Yes, thank you. When you look at the canon of leadership books, have there been other books that inspired you that you would like to see this book sort of land in that category? Other business leaders, inspirational speakers? One of the realities, and I mentioned this to Cindy today, uh, is that the reality is, is that this may be the number one selling book on Amazon today, but in a month or so, uh, boom, it'll be, it'll just be a, you know, a, a really fond memory uh, for, for some folks. So uh, what I truly want this book to do, and I know there's going to be critics out there and naysayers out there that are going to think differently. I mean it sincerely. I want people to read this book because when they do, they will definitely be better public servants, elected or not elected. They will definitely be better leaders, um, and they'll they'll take the 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 days that they're given and they'll just do more things with it. Now, not all the things are going to be popular, and 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 you know that in the eight years that we served, uh, we got a lot of things done, uh, didn't we? They weren't always all popular. However, we were productive, we were efficient, and we made a big, big difference with the eight years that we had to serve. So um, I am not a huge book reader. You can laugh, Cindy. Uh, I am not. I'm not a huge book reader. Uh, I am a nonfiction guy. Um, I read the newspaper. I, uh, I watch TV. I listen to, to the radio. Uh, but I'm not a huge book reader, so I'm not going to mention any any authors by name, um, but you know there are a couple of them uh, right in the right in the uh, the praise section or the testimonial section uh, that I'm I've read their books uh, I'm impressed by their by their knowledge and the impact that they've made and so yeah there's a couple of them right in here thank you anything tougher ones than that come on what's your favorite chapter in your book. I have memorized this book, Joe. Uh, I have read it so many times and, 
And uh, Jeremy at one point said, Mike, at some point in time, you got to quit reading it, you got to quit revising it, and you just got to say, we're done. Uh, I, I really do love the book. <clears throat> there, there were so many lessons that I learned over those eight years of service. And, you know, the things that we were able to accomplish, um, in some cases, against all odds. Um, but <clears throat> I think the ones that I enjoy the most <clears throat> are the foundational ones. <clears throat> and those were the toughest ones that I had to write. And um, <clears throat> those were the stories about, <clears throat> you know, growing up in the Ainton. Um, and uh, going off to state, um, uh, having a young family, and then uh, making that decision to leave corporate America, uh, where everything was going so well, and to take that risk to capture a sixth grade dream that I had. So I would say chapters two through four are, sorry, and I teared up. Dang it. <laughs> uh, you knew that was going to happen. I would say chapters two through four are my favorite because they're the foundational ones. And <clears throat> the only people who've read my book, um, part of the folks that have already you know, got it on, on Amazon, um, were the people who helped me. You know, They read it and they crit critiqued it for me. Uh, but really, the only person who's read my book uh, is my mom. And uh, she didn't call me <laughs> after I gave her the book last Friday. And so I was really worried that I did something wrong. And uh, I called her yesterday to tell her I was coming home to do a book signing. And she was in such a good mood. Uh, so. Mom, how'd you like the book? Oh, I loved it, Mike. It seemed like I was just on the same journey with you and we were reliving it together. And so that was the vote of confidence that I needed. Now I just hope to get the same vote of confidence from my bride, Cindy, and my daughter, Kylie, uh, who have not read the book yet. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Thanks for making me you know, tear up. You, you guys know how to do it. You always have. It wouldn't be a Mike Huther Ah, thank you, Joe. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that again. Uh, but thank you. Thank you. I just love these days. Uh, I just do. I just want more of them. And uh, in one of the first chapters, uh, this control guy, he learned early on uh, at age 40 that you can't control all these things uh, in, in life. And, uh, and so I just want to, you know, I hope I get another day tomorrow. I'm going to go unbelievably hard. And uh, if I can inspire anybody to read this book, and then really, really encourage you to follow the lessons learned in this book. My goodness, you will tackle things that you never thought possible. And guess what? You'll win. Anything else? Anything. New people? Come on. Well, I thank you. I thank you, Cindy. Uh, and and we'll, we certainly want to give you a, a book. And if you want to send, uh, set up a time to meet uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll give you the book. Look through it. I think it'll help prepare you for the interview even better. Um, not that I don't want to hang out with you more, but I, I, I just think it'll be a better interview for you. And so I'll give you, I'll give you the copy of the book. Take it back. And, um, uh, and, and then we'll go from there. So, so thank you. Thank you very much for being here.